yeah, I'm starting to notice a pattern with my videos. I, I turn on the camera, then I forget what the video is about, and then I look like a fool for a bit till I remember. So, you know, I keep, like, kind of promising my top ten, uh, redo my top ten videos of my creepy pasta lists and another top 10 worst creepy pasta list well this isn't one this is a kind of different ish list of creepy pasta monsters ish and when i say monsters i mean i like how the lights saw make it look like i'm evil like half my face is just gone that works that actually works plus i'm worried the power's gonna go out like any minute so that's why i'm trying to make this really fast um yeah, so basically, uh, a creepypasta monster is a monster that is in a creepypasta story. So, these are going to be my top five. five I said that with five. five. Do I say five like that? Five. Oh, well. Top five creepypasta monsters. Let's begin. Number five. Surprise, it's the rake. Uh, I don't know why, I never found the rake that scary to be fair the rake to me was just like a kind of slender man knockoff who i never thought was that scary scary and the rules keep kind of changing for him of why he attacks and why he does these things um so that's why he's a bit low on the list but i mean but um i i do like the design and the idea of this creature that moves sort of like uh, like our ape counterparts and goes after you and scratches you to death. I don't know why. I don't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't like that. Every part of me says I shouldn't like that, but part of me likes that for some reason. Maybe I'm a nutter. Who knows? Who knows? Well, half my face is missing. Oh, if I do that, there you go. Just to prove I'm lost, brother. Half my face. <laughs> Number four is uh, Zalgor. Zalgor, I think that's how you say it. Um, and this one, I kind of cheated a bit because I don't know that much about. Uh, but I know roughly enough to class him on the list. Basically, Zalgor is the demon, is the devil equivalent in the creepy past the universe. All right, I'm, I'm sorry about the lightning. Uh, well, thunder and lightning. I, I can't do anything about that. What can I? Um, but, no, so I get back to the list, uh, and he basically can take control of any person, but then when, but, when you, but then, the way you find out is they're possessed is because their eyes are bleeding and they're sort of getting all disfigured exorcist style and stuff and run up walls and very creepy stuff. And, um, yeah, so that's it. I like... What the designs I've seen of him, uh, I quite like the designs where he's got like a kind of skullish face with a, he just looks scary, which not many monsters on this list are actually that scary, to be fair, <laughs> but the stories behind him are scary. It's like, you know, like uh, for old Hollywood movies, monsters, like... The, the designs themselves weren't scary, but the stories that they were in were quite scary. So that's why they are classed as movie gold-ish things. Number three. Number three is Laughing Jack. And this one is probably the... I, I can't put this one in the middle because it, it kind of creeps me out, but at the same time it doesn't. It's probably because the way he kills people is a bit confusing, but basically he he's a clown that only kids can see and he kills people and he tries to make them do, he tries to make the kids do bad things, you know, so the, so it's kind of like a kid version of Breaking Bad. Wait, why did I think of Death Note then? I don't know why. It's think of it as like Death Note when... Um, like when you pick up Death Note, you can only see the monster dudes. I can't remember the name. Sorry, I'm tired. I've 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 had a long day, um, and uh, it's uh, it's kind of like that. 
um, I highly recommend checking it out because it's one of the more interesting creepypasta monsters. And the origins of him is actually quite cool because he's actually one of the first monsters to actually be good. And he just, and he gets like, he sees his owner um, beating someone and then he's like, oh, I like that, you know, kind of like, he's like a kid, it's like a fighting a monster with a kiddish mind, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I check that out. Number two. Number two is, I kind of going to get a bit of grief for this, but Jeff the Killer, and I'm like, and all you Jeff the Killer fangirls or fanboys or fan in betweens, um, uh, I'm gonna be like, what? Why didn't you pick him as number one? It's like, the story behind him's not good. I'm sorry, but the design of him is awesome, even though he looks quite Jokerish. But then again, the Joker is quite iconic, and if you any clown can't, I should. I don't know. I didn't say that Jeff uh, Laughing Jack didn't look like Joker, but probably because he actually looks like a clown. Um. But I digress. Like a lot of things, but a Joker like, I'm gonna get a bit of grief. But that aside, it's still a pretty decent story. He's still creepy as hell. I can't look at face, to be fair, too long without having to watch my back. <laughs> it's like it's one of those things. Um, so I think you can kind of tell what number one is, and I'm sorry that number one's probably the most predictable monster I could have picked but you know number one's number one number one slender man oh boy <laughs> I know what you're thinking it's one of the it's probably one of the laziest lists and it is quite a predictable list as well but I like the design of slender man I'm sorry it's simple it's, it's I mean it's so like I think that's why the rake is quite long on the list because um, the rake is quite a creative creature, but the problem is he's so un uncanny valley that he's not even on the he wouldn't be on the chart. Slender Man, for example, is just a normal dude, pretty much a really normal well a normal tall dude who's slender and has no face. He's in a suit, you know. There's nothing about him that doesn't that shouldn't like. If you first glance at him, you'll be like, well, you know, you'd be scared shitless because you, you see a dude with no face and possibly tentacles, depending on what way. I prefer the ones where he hasn't got tentacles because I, I think the tentacles kind of ruin it a little bit because it's kind of like, um, uh, like, I'm trying to think now. It's like giving like a super villain immortality. It's like, where's, you know, there's no danger for them. They know, you know, they're going to win. But, uh, I digress. It, I still find Stone Man extremely terrifying and I would not want to beat me in, in an alley. Nor anywhere, in, anywhere, pretty much. So those are my top five creepypasta monsters. There's going to be a new video next week. I don't know what that video is. And hopefully it'll be a good one. If not, hit that dislike button, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, till then, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hello. I'm Joe Henry. And it is thundering and lightning, and it is actually kind of scary a little bit. <laughs> it's like, out of nowhere. I was just outside, and then it was raining, and I was like, ah, no biggie, it's just raining. And then suddenly, a flash of lightning came out of nowhere, and I was like, fuck that shit. I'm extremely bored, yep. <laughs>